Round to Ms. Spindai in for five minutes, please. Oui, merci beaucoup, Madame la Présidente. Et, et, et j'aimerais commencer en, en, en soulignant l'importance de l'industrie forestière et du bois d'œuvre pour le Québec. Les exportations de produits forestiers du Québec représentent environ 10 milliards de dollars par an. C'est un secteur qui soutient plus de 65 000 emplois directs au Québec et, et bien plus encore. Et ce sont des, des bons emplois bien rémunérés. Il est également important, comme la ministre l'a souligné plus tôt, de, de noter que le Canada et le Québec sont des leaders mondiaux en matière de gestion durable des forêts avec des cadres juridiques et politiques de gestion forestière parmi les plus stricts au monde. Et nous savons que les différents commerciaux autour du bois d'œuvre avec les États-Unis, c'est pas nouveau ça. C'est un enjeu de longue date qui remonte aux, aux années 80. I actually, Minister, you know, I remember studying uh, the softwood lumber uh, disputes um, while I was in law school, uh, studying international trade dispute uh, resolution. And I think, you know, it's really important to remember that th this is a disagreement that spans many, many different Canadian governments, many different United States administrations. And I was wondering if you could let us know a little bit more specifically the approach uh, that this particular government ha has taken since coming into power in order uh, to defend the the Canadian softwood lumber industry. Well, thank you so much uh, to uh, my terrific parliamentary secretary for that uh, question. And um, my colleague is absolutely right. This is uh, an issue that spans uh, over uh, over uh, a very long time. And, uh, and um, we have always um, been very clear that the duties that have been imposed by the United States on Canada's softwood lumber are both unwarranted and unfair. And they hurt uh, workers and they hurt industry on both sides of the border. And, um, and I don't think I can uh, underscore that we will continue to vigorously defend uh, their interests. We have certainly launched a series of challenges against the United States uh, duties, uh, both through the WTO, but also through uh, the new NAFTA in Kuzma, as well as uh, as well as uh, you know the uh, the original NAFTA, and uh, you know as I've said before, um, we have consistently Canada has been consistently been awarded legal victories um, that clearly demonstrate that our softwood industry is in full compliance with international trade rules. In other words, Canada does not subsidize the softwood industry, uh, the softwood lumber industry. And we're gonna take a Team Canada approach here. We're working hand in hand with the industry, with labor unions, with provincial and territorial partners on all fronts. And uh, we're gonna keep doing this work. Um, it doesn't stop. Uh, this is a sector that, uh, that uh, supports hundreds of thousands of good middle class jobs in Canada, you know, for Canadians and certainly in your home province of Quebec. So it's very important. And I uh, and I often remark at just how innovative the sector is and what a leader they are, uh, particularly in pursuing uh, both the environment uh, and uh, the economic growth. And it is exactly that which we are delighted to support through the trade diversification strategy, making sure that our, uh, our resources in the Trade Commissioner Service is working hand in hand with the sector to help them um, with market uh, analysis in different uh, international markets, helping businesses pursue both investment and uh, and opportunities to take those products. And in fact, it's the green products that they're taking, uh, biofuels, uh, inputs, uh, uh, you know, PPEs, uh, inputs into PPE, um, uh, uh, inputs into, uh, you know, sort of new new fibers uh, that are going into, into automobiles. So just a real range of, um, of innovations that they, that the sector has, uh, you know, has pursued, which we are supporting through, uh, through, through our efforts and, uh, and, and our investments.